Coming up next, a review of the arcade classic OutRun for the Sega Genesis. Growing up as a kid in the 1980s was amazing. It was probably the absolute best time to be a kid. We had the absolute best toys like Voltron and Transformers and G.I. Joe and Mask. And the country was a lot less divided and more cohesive. I mean, the 1984 election, 49 out of the 50 states voted for the same candidate. So we were all on the same page. We were all patriotic. We were all Americans. And it was just a great time to be alive. I also think the golden age of video games happened in the 1980s. When you look at the origins of video games, uh, Atari and ColecoVision were like the first huge uh, video game explosion. Video games became mainstream when the Nintendo Entertainment System came out. And the 16-bit the era was, was basically starting up. when You had the TurboGrafx-16 and the Sega Genesis by 1989, so I can't really think of a better era for video games. Arcades were also at their peak. Uh, peak popularity, I think, happened in 1983-82, and they were everywhere. There were arcades everywhere, and I remember growing up uh, 1985 when OutRun hit the arcades, and it just... It just took the whole world by storm. I mean, I think that was the very first racing game that really blew everyone away. You know, they had the vibration in the steering wheel, and, um, you know, the sit-down unit would, would kind of vibrate the seat and everything when you hit, uh, you know, objects and obstacles. It just, it was an a, a incredible experience, and that really got everybody into arcade gaming. So today I'm looking at the home port of the OutRun arcade game, and this was released for the Sega Genesis. This is one of the better ports that came out for OutRun. Uh, there were some pretty shoddy cash grab ports that uh, came out. You know, the one that I can think of off the top of my head that was really, really poor was uh, the Commodore Amiga and Atari ST OutRuns are just really, really poorly done. But the Genesis game is pretty polished. You know, the one thing that you'll notice quickly if you played the arcade a lot is the arcade game runs at a solid 60 frames per second, and the frame rate is about half that on the Sega Genesis. It's only running about 30 frames per second, but it's a solid smooth 30 frames per second, and it's still quite good. Nowadays, I'm amazed at the depth and length of some video games. I mean, I know I've put probably 100 hours into some of the Forza Motorsports games, and I'm still progressing. Well, the 1980s games and early 90s games were notoriously short. Outrun's a game that you can kind of beat every stage and every race probably within an hour or two of uh, buying the game. But, I mean, it was based on an arcade game, and, you know, arcade games aren't exactly known for their depth either. Um, they're basically there to just uh, gobble up quarters. And the other thing about it, too, is even though OutRun is a pretty short game, it's so much fun that there's still a lot of replay value in it. It's one of those games where you have in your Genesis collection that you kind of pull out when you have friends over who really don't know video games. And it's perfect. The controls are simple. It's like an ideal title for casual gaming years before that term even existed. Needless to say, I'm a huge fan of this game, and I also love the ability to change the radio station and listen to different music um, while you're playing the game. Um, that was a novelty. Uh, I had never seen that in any other video game, and being able to change the radio station has been a signature of the franchise, and there have been a lot of outruns released over the years. Uh, I know the arcade had seen uh, Turbo Outrun as well as Outrunners, and there was an outrun game that came out for the Xbox, and I believe the PlayStation 3? So the graphics on this game are amazing for Sega Genesis. I mean, the Sega Genesis is kind of notorious for having a limited color palette, but you would never know playing this game. I think the Sega Genesis can only display about 60 colors on screen at once, and they really do max it out on this game. Uh, the, the colors are really uh, well chosen and bright and colorful. The Genesis version of OutRun is, is certainly one of the best uh, ports of this game. I think the PC Engine version of OutRun might have a slight edge in gameplay. I think the controls are just a little tighter on that one. But uh, I think the music is a little better here on the Genesis. My one pet peeve about this particular game is it was one of the fairly early releases on the Genesis. So it only uses the three button gamepad. I'm really not a fan of the control scheme. Uh, you've got the accelerate and brake on the fire buttons like you would expect. But shifting uh, between high and low gear are up and down on the directional pad. And I kind of hate it because a lot of times I'll just be trying to turn and I'll accidentally downshift and slow the car down. 
yeah, I wish this was a six button game because then I would have like the X, Y buttons available for, uh, you know, shifting and then I wouldn't have any accidental downshifts or upshifts uh, when I'm trying to, to win the game. And again, I'm, I'm kind of reiterating this, but uh, the game is really short and that's going to be kind of a downside to a lot of people. The fact that it can be beaten in an hour or less. I've seen some um, people speed run it in like 20 minutes. The one upside to the game is this is the first racing game that, it, that had branches. So you could basically uh, choose left or right and go to different highways and scenery. There's a lot of diversity in the tracks and the uh, locations. So the game will be different almost every time. It'll be, unless you decide to go right every single time, you will get a different experience every time you play it. I think the replay value is pretty high on this one just because you can mix it up and change your gameplay style every time. Overall, I'm taking uh, one point off for the game being really short and another point off for the control scheme and that's how I ended up giving it an overall score of 8 out of 10. The game isn't perfect, but it is probably the best arcade racer on the Sega Genesis. Thanks for joining me on this review of OutRun for the Sega Genesis. If you liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.